Welcome back, fellow car enthusiasts, fellow luxury car enthusiasts, I should say, because if you're not interested in luxury cars, well, this ain't the, this ain't the place for you. Let's be honest. Uh, yes, I suspect very much that this will be the final episode of, uh, of Production Line. Doors that go like this. Like this, I tell you. Like this. Exactly like this. Uh, that is because I think that we're going to do so well today that uh, that everything is going to end up uh, working out perfectly and we're, we're not going to have any issues whatsoever and it's all going to work out just uh, just fine. Anyway, let's stick it into, into two times speed. And then let's talk a little bit about what we want to do. Uh, could I could I actually do a little bit of marketing? I could actually do a little bit of marketing. I don't really want to, though. I have 1,222 brand ideas. Or whatever the heck it's called. Unused ideas, just regular ideas. Uh, and I could do a awareness campaign. I kind of want to do that, but I, uh, I don't really have the money for it at the moment. So we're, uh, we're just going to sort of take it easy. There are uh, a bunch of objectives that we could pursue that will help make our lives a little bit easier. It looks like speeding this area up would be would be chief amongst them. We're working on the, the mini stockpiles right now, so we're going to stick a mini stockpile right over here. And we're going to get some doors uh, so that this whole process takes, uh, takes a lot shorter period of time. Right. Defects. Yep. Fix some defects. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Everything, everything's fine. Everything's fine. We do have quite a lot of cars on the uh, on the line at the moment, but that's okay. We're going to be bringing out our brand new our brand new car type, uh, which is going to be which is going to be the pickup. We're going to be doing that pretty darn soon. Uh, the open top car will that allow will that allow the the doors the special doors to to work? I I don't actually know, but anyway, let's get the pickup truck first, and then let's go back and let's get a uh, an upgraded type of door. Right, mini stockpiles, fantastic. Let's uh, let's put a, a mini stockpile in right over here, right there. Absolutely smashing. Right, so I think it's fit doors that we want to to copy. Yeah, fit door panels. That's the one. Fit door panels, and we would like to keep everything in stock actually. There we go. And also link that up, that up like that. Perfect. Does that even, yeah, that links up. Perfect. Good, good, good. So that should hopefully make things a much, much swifter operation. Yep. That's what I'm hoping anyway. All right. No, apparently, apparently, it just doesn't. Uh, it doesn't want to operate in a, in a in the way that I in the way that I wish it to. I mean, that's fine. I guess that's 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 completely that's completely okay. I guess if you don't want to, if you don't do if you don't do what I want you to do, then that's all right. I mean, we're pretty much at full capacity almost everywhere else. We still could do with a few more vehicles on the rest of the. Uh, on the rest of the thoroughfare, and also it looks like this is becoming a problem. Our import situation is not great. I will get a resource importer over here. I don't think it balances in the way that I would like it to, but I'm gonna collect that over there and see if it uh, evens out the the importing duties. Maybe it does actually. Maybe I'm just uh, a little bit out of date. But that's okay. Anyway, let's go and get the uh, the next level of doors. Let's get butterfly doors, and let's also let's also get a uh, let's get a pickup truck. What is this going to be called? I mean, we got the. I mean, I feel like the the pickup truck since it's got a slightly higher slightly higher ground clearance than than everything else. I guess we'll call it the Neptune. You know, on account of the fact that it can drive through uh, relatively big puddles. Right, keyless entry. Leather interior, in-car music, power steering, and a sunroof. We do need to get keyless entry. Let's research that now, please, so that we can roll it out across uh, all of our vehicles. All of our vehicle ranges as swiftly as possible. All right. Yeah, I mean, I think even with the, the rate at which we're importing doors... 
I think we still need we still need more door panels. Yeah, how are we going to fix that? How are we going to fix that indeed? I really am not sure. Door panels are pretty much the the thing that's holding up the entirety of this uh, of this operation over here. I mean, this takes 5 minutes to complete for example, whereas door panels only takes Oh no, door panels takes 5 minutes and 23 seconds. It should be much it should be much quicker than that. I'm pretty sure that door panels is a is a very very quick operation in comparison to almost everything else. So it's just about making sure that we that we have that uh, that we have that up and running. Is there any way that we can perhaps get another door panel? I mean, if we were to move these fit window things over to this area and put another fit door panel in over here, what would the likelihood of that be? Hmm. Part of me wants to give it a go, you know? In fact, I think I do want to give this a go. If we can free up the fit window and the fit wing mirror things, if we can move them over to this general area, upgrade all slots, yes, edit models, yes, please. Apply that to absolutely everything. That's great. Okay. If I sell another couple of cars, if we get up to $500,000, then, um, then I'll then I'll move I'll start moving this stuff. I mean that's yeah okay that's 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 great as if to demonstrate a point that is that is absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's disconnect that over there. Perfect. We'll just let these windows be fitted, the wing mirrors be fitted, and then we will look at doing this up in such a fashion that will give us the space to to make this work. Okay, so fit windows needs to be moved to like here. It's very, it's very, very tight. I mean, this whole operation is so unbelievably tight. There's no way that I can move the bottom trim across at all. I mean, I can move, I can move it to here. I can move it to there. Right, let's, let's give that a shot. I like this. I like it when it becomes, you know, jigsaw levels of uh, of complexity. It's very, very satisfying when you finally solve a problem. Right. Okay, so if I take this back as well. It's not really going to make much of a difference for us. I tell you what. I tell you what the, the the perfect place to do this is. The perfect place to do this is over here. It's literally right here. Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, let's uh let's ditch this, ditch this, and in fact ditch that too. Ditch that over there. In fact, no, dude, put that back. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Right, uh, so. Fit windows. Yep. Right in there. And then fit wing mirrors. Right in front of it, which I can't do right now because that needs to go there. So I'm just going to waste money because I don't want to, to move the camera around. And that will link up nicely. Then this comes up here like so. Oh no, we don't have enough space. We don't have enough space to, to move it around. Um, mm. I thought I could, I thought I could fit it in. I thought I could fit it in. Hold on. I can fit it in. What am I thinking? This is, this is what I, this is what I said when I was getting ahead of myself. Uh, no, I can't, I can't actually fit it in. I mean, I, hmm, I can fit it in. Maybe if I move this belt out here. I mean, this is, this is just, it's plumbing tight. That's what it is. That's what I'll do. All right. I've got a, I've got a solution. Right. That is how we do it. 
I knew there was a way. Where there's a will, there is a way. Never a truer sentiment has been uttered. And just like that, we fix our problems. Uh, but that's only half. That's only half the battle. That's only half the battle. We want to get door panels properly seen to. So let's see if we can do it. Okay, fit doors, fit door panels. Ooh. This makes me so mad. If, if I'm not going to be able to fix this, then... I don't... I really... I really do not think that this is going to... This is going to want to go. Mm, I would love an alternate... I would love, love, love an alternate layout for the door panel machines. Oh boy, that would be so great right now. I can move the stockpile. I can move the stockpile. That is what I can do. Uh, it's not the it's not the most optimum uh, setup, but I mean it is it is fine. It gives us what we need. And if we need to move the stockpile to this location or a different location, then that's fine. We'll move it back over here. See if that makes a difference. And let's let's run it. Let's run it in uh, in one time speed now, in the vain hope that nothing will go wrong. All right, let's see what we got. Right, lots and lots of stuff is being imported, all for the benefit of doors. Right, it shouldn't all be importing from this uh, one specific importer. It should be importing from all of the different importers. All right. If I mean, what? One point five million dollars. All right. Okay. So let's splash some of that cash on a brand awareness campaign. Six hundred grand on that. Sure. Don't mind if I do. Yes, please. Uh, speaking of, let's also try and get a resource importer. I should just buy. I should just buy this. I should just buy this area specifically for the resource importer. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna do it. I mean, it makes our cash flow worse, but I mean, it it improves. It improves the chances of this working out tremendously. Okay, so let's get this disconnected. Yep, and I disconnect the conveyor as well, even though I was holding shift. Not exactly ideal, but it is it's, it's all right. Right. Let's uh, let's hope that 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 works. See if we've redistributed uh, some of the load. That's the dream. Missing upgrade, central locking. There we go. Great. Great. Do all of that. Doesn't look like this has redistributed any of the demand. Like I was hoping it to. All right. Okay. If 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 we're not gonna if we're not gonna be successful like this, we need to force it. Oh wait. Hold up. What? There we go. Okay. So now that all three can come in, they should be able to import equally, right? The importing GD should be automatically shared. All right. Looks like we've uh, we've absolutely destroyed the backlog. That's fantastic. Uh, let's also see if we can get another mini supply uh, stockpile. Maybe even another one. Don't mind if I do. Okay, and we're gonna copy from slot, fit door panels, yep. And fit door panels again. The more the merrier, really. How is it that we've still got so much money? I don't know. I also don't know why my cars are selling so well. I mean, this is this is scary. You know what I'm just realizing right now? I didn't actually add the uh, the Neptune one to the to the production schedule. Turns out that you know investing in a whole bunch of luxury car production is uh, is is a is a sound bet. In fact, right, the fit roof is uh, is going is going well. There is still more latitude for expanding. The roof fitting operation over here. In fact, do we want to do that? I mean, we got money, right? I'm. I know I'm maybe being a little bit, uh, a little bit laissez-faire 
shall we say, with my current uh, with my current spending. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just do it anyway. I want to keep space down here for the axles because there, we're going to need to change this fit axle situation uh, in the future anyway. Right, so we want to get the fit roof section. So how many... Okay, so that's four. Let's get two fit roof section. You know what? I could probably get even some, some fit door panels over here as well. I could just I could just straight up move them directly over to this area. I don't actually know if that's required though. Right, let's just leave it as is for now. Yeah, I'll do that. No route to stockpile, not yet anyway. Alright, delete that and Put that in like so beautiful. Right. Right. And then we'll get a resource importer right over there and a resource conveyor. Great. Literally just tons and tons and tons of bits of uh, bits of roof. Buy all the sunroof upgrades that we possibly can and be happy about it. Uh, this fit roof, I'm going to move right over to here. And we're going to add yet another fit roof area to this. Great. And keep the good times rolling. Right. I think that we might need some more door panel capacity. But we're going to deal with that as and when it is required. I've still got uh, enough money. In the bank. It's not going to last forever. So that's why I'm trying to pump out as many cars as I possibly can. Whilst uh, whilst I've got this in my favor. Yeah, the problem with the fit door panels is that we're constantly waiting for resources. Constantly waiting for resources. Right, but with the three supply stockpiles around here, it should make it better. Looks like we're getting through this backlog pretty much fine. Now we seem to be waiting for resources over on the fit windows section. And that in itself just isn't good, obviously. Uh, and the demand on the importer over there is, is quite substantial. All right, let's have a little look at getting a mini stockpile right over here. Let's get it connected up to the, uh, to the network and... We will do fit windows. I didn't think that we were going to have a problem with this. I did not think that we were going to have a problem with this at all. But apparently we are. Well, there you go. The more you know, eh? The more you know. Where are these windows going? Oh, they're going all the way around there. Okay, that is ridiculous. Right. Yeah, far too much stuff. Far too much stuff to import. Let's get another resource importer over here. And let's get a resource conveyor that just goes literally straight. Okay, that should help. That will definitely help. But we've burnt through all of our cash. And we've now got 23, 23 cars on the go. Extra revenue... A lot, but not enough to break even quite yet. We still need another 300k or so in order to break even on the uh, on the advertising that we took out. Right. Good, good, good. Keep up the great work, guys. Come on. Waiting for resources. Yeah. Why is it taking such a long time for those resources to get around? It's ridiculous. I mean, definitely, don't get me wrong, the, I feel that the production is definitely, is definitely becoming more solid. We're getting closer to where we want to be, but we're not quite, uh, we're not quite hitting that, hitting that stride yet. I don't think we can, I don't think we can uh, disassemble fit windows any more than we've already done it. 
Butterfly doors. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a 210,000 upgrade, but that's fine with me. Let's get this immediately applied to all of the uh, luxury sports cars. And then let's immediately start working on scissor doors, because I feel like that's the... That's what we need. That's absolutely what we need. Yeah, we cannot break down fit windows any more than we've already done. The only thing that we could possibly do is speed up the delivery of resources. And, I mean, already... We're, we're pretty we're pretty close to we're pretty close to maximum on that one I think yeah unless we can get a uh, speed increase to the da, 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 even faster resource imports yeah let's get that super fast resource imports let's add to the queue type type two resource importers oh my goodness that's totally brand new I say brand new I don't know how brand new it is but it's brand new enough that I didn't know and I play this game fairly regularly so it must at least be quite new okay let's get the resource importers all uh, all done turbocharged let's also add that to the queue perfect okay get that all researched yes please and let's also see if we've unlocked any green space in our travels no it turns out that we've unlocked loads and loads of areas but None that actually bring with it extra extra green space. All right, that's fine. It's whatever, I guess. So I guess the only thing that we possibly need now is... The only thing that we possibly need is... Uh, is is more green space. More green space, and that'll, that'll be great. And if we can get more windows, then that'll be fantastic. Right. Let's just literally get windows. Add items. Windows. Yep. I want to keep 36 windows. Literally 36 windows right there. Right. Loads and loads of windows. We'll keep them... We'll keep them there, raring to go. So that we can constantly have them being delivered. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. If it does, happy days. If not, I mean, doesn't really cost us anything, does it? All right, good. I mean, we're, we're working through the backlog. That's important. Looks like the paint shop is able to deal with everything uh, pretty much as it comes in. I mean, our production must be going through the roof at the moment. We've, we've crested past 40%. Crested past? I don't know if you can crest past something, but, I mean, we've surpassed 40%. That's definitely... Uh, where we've just hit, which is fantastic. That's really, really good. I'm very, very happy about that. That's that's really great. Uh, it doesn't look like the door panel machines are uh, are over capacity at the moment. Looks like they're pretty much pretty much hitting capacity. Yep, everyone is working absolutely flat out, and we're making more money than we've ever made before, which is just great. Uh, extra revenue. Let's just get that to auto repeat then. I mean, if that's gonna if that's gonna actually make us money, if the TV advertising is gonna make us money, then sign me up. I am I am down to clown absolutely every single day of the week. Real good, real real good. Oh my goodness, look at this! I've never been so wealthy in my entire life. Who knew that selling luxury cars was as simple as this? All right. The good news is, is that uh, I plan for this eventuality. The paint shop is a little bit overwhelmed at the moment. Let's expand it just a smidge. There we go. Looks like this paint shop is still fine, so that's nice, I guess. I need to get some more finishes. Hold on. Uh, yep. Finishes there. Excuse me. I mean, I'm literally wanting to get rid of that, please. Right. Up here. Over there. Over there. And down there, like so. Get rid of that. That in there. Bish, bash, bosh. Simple as that. Ah, the machine is broken down. Well, wouldn't it be great if we had a maintenance department? Well, it would be, but we don't. So, I mean, that ship has uh, that ship has frankly sailed. 
It's gone. Gone with the wind. Never to return. And everything is broken down, apparently. Right. Okay, so this is probably a fairly significant... Yeah, it's becoming a fairly significant issue, and our production plummeted accordingly. Oh, that's just great, isn't it? That is just great. Right, you know what we're going to do? Expand into this area. I know, very, very, very frivolous attitude to... Uh, a very, very cavalier attitude to my money. Right. That is a heck of a lot of research stations, but it's going to absolutely... Uh, absolutely pedal to the metal on our research progress. It's going to make a, a, a real big difference. Real big difference. What is this? We got the fit powertrain over here. What is that? The fit engine? Fit radiator, fit exhaust, fit wheel assembly. I, I've broken that down to fit brakes, which I've got. Got all of that. Fit steering wheel assembly as well. All right. The reason that I bring that up is because I think that we could probably do with more more fit engine bits and bobs i.e we could do with another another column of uh, of engine fitting machinery that might be what we need oh my goodness it looks like we're it looks like we're we're working through the backlog primarily because Primarily because that machine broke down, which is not ideal, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Uh, fitting the front axle and fitting the back axle, I can unlock and I should unlock right now because we can deal with the extra capacity. And since we're advertising, what's important is making sure that we pump out as many cars is as physically possible, as is physically possible. Yeah, axle specialization. Let's research that now. We'll continue our, our regular resort. Uh, regular research. Regular research in due course. But for now, let's just get it done. Also, are these the brand new type of doors? I think those are the brand new type of doors, yeah. The doors that hinge like uh, like Lamborghinis. Ah, it's looking pretty darn good. I like it. I like it a lot. You know what? Throughout this, I've made money. Look at... I mean, well, most mostly money. Look at the... I mean, the green line is not as healthy as I'd like it to be, to be honest. But it's not exactly in a bad place, and that's what's that's what's really important. That's what's very important. Another breakdown. Okay, uh, I mean, this to me says, stop mucking around and just get a maintenance department. And research it right now. Yeah. All right, but the good news is that I can also ditch this, uh, ditch that right there. And not feel bad about it because we're immediately going to replace it with a fit front axle section. Okay, I'm going to do it all the way over here. Front axle section. Fit rear axle section. Fit drive, fit drive shaft section. And then... Oh no, hold up. I've already got the fit undercarriage over here. I don't even know why I'm why I'm faffing around with this. I've got the I've already got the fit drive shaft, don't I? No, I've got no, I've got the fit undercarriage section. Alright, great. So all I need to do is get this to come along to here. Linked up. And over there. Perfect. Perfect. Let's get a resource importer over here. And a resource conveyor to convey all of the wonderful resources to the location that they uh, that they are required. Okay, so we just need to literally add two of every type of car to the Brutus. Sure. Moonraker. Sure. Neptune. Sure. Sedan 3. We've already got the Mars 1. Sure, and that car. All right. I don't think we're gonna have. I don't think we're gonna have any issues going forward. I think we're gonna be absolutely assembling cars at a record, record pace. Already, you're broken down. Okay. I mean, this must still be in warranty. Oh my goodness! What a joke! What a joke! I literally just place it. That the, I mean, the materials, the materials that have been used to build it, surely they can't have fatigued already. 
it's it's almost impossible. Almost impossible, I tell you. Almost impossible. All right, good. So we're pumping out cars like there's absolutely no tomorrow. And so we should be able to really, really, really increase our production, which is great. Still having somewhat of an issue selling our cars. Not entirely sure why sometimes we're we're selling heaps of them, and other times we're we're selling almost none of them. Oh my goodness! They're in sync. Oh, this is fantastic. This is great. Uh, what we could do is we could research robots and just get a sort of across the board buff. Uh, an across-the-board bonus to uh, to everyone. I mean, that would be an option, but I think, honestly, keeping the, the current layout that we've got, the current setup, it's fine. It's good enough for what we require of it. Right, that supply stockpile doesn't, it doesn't like that. It doesn't, doesn't like when that happens. Right, chassis, I mean... Already got all that, so that's okay. Great. Okay, we need to get some of these cars through a little bit faster, but but that's that's fine for now. Also, we are running out of power, so I'm gonna get three more power plants, bring them up online, just to make sure that we're absolutely not going to run out of power. Yeah, this is this is good. Is the fitting bumpers the, the thing that's slowing us down here? I think indeed it is. Because that is taking 4 minutes and 49 seconds. In comparison to in comparison to other things which are taking slightly slightly less time. I don't think that there is any chance that we find the space to get to get an extra fit bumper section here though. Not a chance. I, I think that there is legitimately 0% chance. What is liquid cooled welding? Sounds pretty dope, to be honest, but I don't think it's really going to help. Right, maintenance departments. Let's get a maintenance department into the fray. Yeah. Let's just get one for now. I mean, they are quite expensive at 100,000 100, a pop. Not going to auto-renew that for now because I quite simply do not have the money. Yeah, I would love to get another fit bumper section. I mean, oh, I tell you what, actually. I tell you what, the fit bumper section can be broken down. Can it not? Fit bumpers, fit front bumper, and fit real bumper. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Okay, let's try and break it down. See if we can get a... See if we can get a solution to the... To the bumper backlog. Haha, <laughs> do you get it? Bumper backlog? Just me? Alright, fine, whatever. Alright, let's get that research right now. In the hope that we can find the space for that. Um... Might be able to. Might be able to find the space for one one extra. I think it's unlikely, but it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Also, I'm going to take that straight down there. And I'm going to take that up. And then I'm going to do the same with this. And that is hopefully going to show... Yeah, show a little bit more space. Show us where the space is. Okay. That's good. That's good. That does that does help a little bit, I think. Yeah, so the bumper the bumper the bumper area is now the the bit of road that is causing the backlog. But that's fine. I mean to be honest. Marketing campaign finished. Great. I mean, that was that was fantastic. Maybe, though, we could have got a little bit of that money back in terms of uh, advertiser incentives to advertise again. I mean, that would be certainly very, very nice. 
I don't think advertisers are in the 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 business of giving back the money that you pay to them, though. Disappointingly, I may add. Disappointing. Right. I mean, I'm just thinking, where can we, where can we find that extra little space? One of the, one of the options that we do have, one of the options that we do have is sort of moving all of these around. Scissor doors. All right, let's do it. Do I want to get scissor doors on these cars? I mean... Or do I want to bring out an entirely new range? I feel like I want a new range. I feel like I really do want a new range. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's create a similar model of the Sedan 3. Let's call it the Sedan 3 copy. Heated wing mirrors are apparently universal. Fine. Uh, and then let's put scissor doors. All right. Apparently they're different somehow. Copy that. And copy that. Butterfly doors. Scissor doors. And scissor doors. So you can't have gullwing doors. All right. There can't be gullwing doors on the sports car. That's that's okay. Can I copy that? Yeah, sure. Copy the copy. And give me... Instead of scissor doors, give me gullwing doors. That looks cool. That looks really, really cool. I didn't even realize that was what it was like. Uh, this thing can't have gullwing doors. This thing can have gullwing doors, I believe. It can indeed. Okay. Great, so let's introduce all of the copies as uh, as extra cars. I'm going to introduce them on a sort of one-to-one -one basis, though. I.e., I'm going to bring in... If I change the schedule, I'm going to start from the top. One. 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 So now we should absolutely be building, like, every single type of car that we possibly can be building. Which is cool. Which is very, very cool. Anyway, yes. What I was saying about fixing this area. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Yikes. 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 I mean, give me a... Give me a lowdown of the numbers, chief. Bumper specialization. I mean, that's... That's definitely going to buoy my enthusiasm. It's not going to buoy my finances. My finances are still... Dodgy. The last sort of four or five hours, we've just been losing money continuously. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is that I think that we can move these three units. If I can move the fit vent unit, I can move the fit vent unit to like here, and I can move the arches unit up a bit to somewhere, then it'll create enough space for another fit bumper section. Because at the moment, I really just cannot see a way in which I can fit another sort of three by one, a three by one thing in here. It's just, it's just not possible. It's just not possible. All right. I mean, this, I mean, it's not the end of the line. 141. How is it that we've got 141 heated wing mirrors? Heated wing mirrors are killing our sails. Right, car lacks universal features. Okay, 30%. Right, keep going. Discount, discount more heavily. Zero. zero. No, I don't want it to be zero. 50% off. 18K? Come on, there we go. Okay, we're getting some cars out the door. Fantastic. And let's get heated wing mirrors as swiftly as we possibly can. Right. Heated wing mirrors. Right. The heated wing mirror lobby is killing me. All right. We've managed to 
really, really buoy up our finances. That's fantastic. Let's take the discount back a little bit, take it down to 45%, see if we can save a little bit of cash. Then let's ditch this. Right. Demolish, 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 demolish. Okay. Fit vent, I'm going to move literally all the way over there. I'm going to lose a car body in the process, but that's actually fine with me. Right, I mean, we've got so many cars at the moment that, that it's not a problem. Okay, move this thing, monstrosity, whatever you'd like to call it. Move this over here. I think that's what we want. Yeah, let's uh, demolish this, demolish that, and fit arches right over yonder, like so. This is going to give us absolutely tons of space. This is what it's all about. This is what optimizing your factory is all about. And we are we are we are hunting high and low for those building locations. Okay. I know we are going to lose a little bit of uh a little bit of material, but that's all right. Uh the space that this provides us is not large, but it should be more than enough to to work. So more than enough to work with, that's for sure. So let's get that in there. And now that frees up this area. So let's do fit bumpers. Fit the front bumper. Yes, please. And fit the rear bumper. Never forget about the rear bumper. Beautiful. All right. Resource conveyor me up. Okay. Facilities, maintenance department. We've already got a maintenance department. Don't know why that's showing as new. Certainly shouldn't be. All right. That should absolutely, absolutely destroy our backlog, which is fantastic. Also, look at the cars that we're selling. Oh my goodness. If only we had heated wing mirrors. If only we had heated wing mirrors with which to build into our cars. That would be simply the most wonderful thing in the world. Uh, but this entire stockpile is going to get completely wiped out. Can I take the discount back just a little bit? 40%. See if our cars still go quite as quickly. Looks like they're still going. How, how cheap are they? 60,000? 60, there we go. Apply to literally every car that we could possibly, uh, that we could possibly apply it to. Are we going to broach 4 million? Hold up. How much am I selling this for? I shouldn't be selling them for zero, right? Oh, it's because it counts as an uninstalled feature as well as a universal feature. That's kind of a little bit... That's kind of a little bit of a shame. It shouldn't count as double. It should count as one. Because that means that it just totally screws up the entirety of my maths. Right, let's take that off. Yeah, okay, that that's a bit more that's a bit more fair. Yeah, it shouldn't it shouldn't it shouldn't work like that. If it's the same feature, it should be it should only count against you once. It shouldn't count against you twice. Okay. Super fast resource imports. Great news. Great news that that's done. How's our how's our production efficiency? It's nudging past 40. We're getting there. We are getting there, my friends. We're getting there. Right. Four million in the bank from selling luxury cars. That's fantastic. Uh, fit arches needs to be refined as well. Fit arches needs to become fit front arch and fit the rear arch. Arch specialization. Let's do it. You know what? Let's not... Uh, let's stop pussyfooting around here and let's go for more and more research offices. There we go. 
half a million, half a million in research offices right there. Bam. That's what it's all about. That is what it is all about. And then we'll get rid of this and we will replace it with some brand new Arches Tech. Which I'm sure is going to make things even faster. So we're just literally identifying the places where, uh, where the backlog is occurring. And we're just fixing it as we go. Okay, so I can make these two open top. Sure, I guess. If that makes a difference, we'll, uh, we'll do that. Uh, front mesh, sure. Why not? Missing upgrade scissor doors. Wowzers, that was expensive. That was very, very expensive. Still disappointed that I can't put scissor doors or gullwing doors on a compact car. Very, very disappointed, I would uh, I would hasten to add. Seems like it should be allowed. Also, I'm going to unlock this area. I know, once again, my cash flow is just, it's just it's down in the gutter at the moment, but I can't help myself. I need more research, and I need it faster. Right. That's pretty bad maths there. In fact, no, that would always be the case. I think. Yeah, that would always be the case. There would always be that one left over. Whatever. Alright, Arch Specialization. That's great. Get rid of this, please. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's just bash into brand new Arch Specializations. Man, I love this game. This game is so good. This is just fantastic. Uh, we got a conveyor connection. Right, so that is the next roadblock completely fixed, which is great. Uh, resource importing is going completely fine. Nothing to complain about there. This is about to become an issue. The export zone is somewhat of a problem, but that's okay. We've got uh, we've got a lot of stuff to we got a lot of stuff to research. In fact, we got such a lot of stuff to research that maybe. Rather than doing this nonsense, let's get let's get research centers. Yep, let's get research centers, and then we'll replace all of our, our regular stuff with uh, our regular research zones with research centers, and that'll that'll make it all much easier. Powered seats. Oh goodness gracious me! Right. Well, powered seats are going to lead to a, a mass sell off of cars again. There we go. And let's go for five-point wheels, I guess. Sure. Right. So let's get research centers first. Our cars are going to potentially drain out from underneath us. Actually, no, they won't. Because we've completely slashed the uninstalled features section. Right. All right, you know what? That's not the end of the world. But now that we're starting to reintroduce features again, it will it will mean that we do want to try and get rid of cars that don't have all of the features. So I think we're going to just have to accept the fact that we might not make that much money for a little while. But that's fine. Uh, truthfully, I can I can live with that. I can absolutely live with that. All right. Beautiful. Let's give this a shot. How much money am I going to get back? About 400 grand. That's quite something. Research center. Let me let me get some research centers. Okay. I mean, I really dislike the shape of these these buildings. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I mean, there must be an optimum way of of, of of setting them out. I just I just don't know what it is. I just have no... I have not got the foggiest idea what it is. Alright, get rid of that. And... Research center. Another research center. Can I get another one? Not really. Not really. Uh, I think I just go for... 
regular old research offices. What is the point generation, actually? What's the point generation difference? The power demand is basically double, but the points is better than double. The research centers are definitely better bang for your buck. Per employee as well. All right, that's fine. That's that's whatever. All right, let's do the same over here. Demolish this entire area. Why demolish the entire area and not wait and see what we can do? Great question. I don't actually know. Right. I mean, this is this is this is the real puzzle, right? This is the puzzle at the heart of this game. I, of course, jest, but... I mean, it kind of is, right? There we go. That's pretty darn good. Research center. There does need to be more shapes, though. Like, more potential shapes. I don't think that there's any other way to do that. No. That's, that's fine. And then... We'll leave that as it is. And then what we'll do is we'll just get a research center like that. Ditch. Oh, the game crashed. Don't game, video game, please. Please don't screw me like this. Right. It was an it was an autosave from from about 15 minutes ago. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Video game. Look at this. We haven't even we haven't even installed the bumpers yet. Well, anyway, I did say that this was going to be the last episode and I feel that on that relatively depressing and anticlimactic note, I feel that we're going to we're gonna we're gonna call this uh, we're gonna call this series here. I appreciate that maybe I didn't get all the stuff done that I wanted to get done. However, I think that we had a really good run. And if you ignore ignore this, uh, let's remember the fact that I finished this series with two and a half mil in the bank, ready to be cashed. That's how I'd like you to remember me and remember this series. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I of course have been over to potato. This has been production line. One of the best games of all time, in my honest opinion, even though it does occasionally crash. It's still in early access. Thanks for watching. At least I think it's still in early access. Hmm. Question mark that one. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.